All right, welcome back to part number two. So after a really lovely time in the national park, I left and scooted along the road looking for a tree that was appropriate for me to get my gear into and climb. And then up in the hills, I spotted this tree in front of this gigantic house. And I thought, ah, I'll go and check it out. Well, turns out this mansion, monstrous mansion, the one that you can see me climbing under right now, was completely abandoned in the sense that it had been for sale for so long, it was totally unoccupied. Anyway, I had a bit of adventure climbing under there, and yeah, we're meeting up with me just as I'm trying to work out my way to get down to the tree that I'd seen. Well, this is what it looks like under a mansion. <laughs> but from the road, I saw that tree. But on Google, it was so much more clear. It's just not, not accessible. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, so there's a path. How do I get down to that path? It's running down there a bit. Go back up and around, or just straight down and through. <laughs> and I've got myself up here, but there's a tree. <laughs> I want to climb. All right, I think this is actually the way down and around. There's definitely been something coming through here, but <laughs> I'm not sure if it was human or not. I guess it was just a break wall of so much effort going into the construction. <laughs> this gigantic floating thing up there. Uh, but I'm here for this guy. I found one. I found a tree to climb. I reckon I can get onto this branch. I reckon I can at least just like try, <laughs> try and get a little bit elevated. I saw this from the road. Okay, so I would completely understand if you're looking at me and this tree and being like, dude, just, just climb it. Why do you need gear? Well, <laughs> if you haven't watched any of the previous videos, uh, I have no experience whatsoever, except as a kid climbing trees. And particularly with the gear and I've had to source this gear online from no brand businesses so I wanted to test it out and I had a fail uh, with some rope so I've had to buy some new rope and here it is so this is all about just kind of trying to get suspended and I just want to like swing around a little bit so yeah that'll be good I'm only a few videos in to, to this journey hopefully fast forward one year <laughs> I'm gonna be climbing those 30 40 meter things that we saw earlier today but right now I have no idea how to get up them. Um, well, I have a bit of an idea, but absolutely no ability. So starting, <laughs> starting nice and low. So let's do it. Rigging up. as awkward as a as a wetsuit and I probably should loosen the buckles <laughs> before I try to put it on. Yeah. Bit of a laugh. All right, next step is remembering what I need to do next. <laughs> ah, what a goof. And then, um, nah, I need to get better at untying this. Okay. Are you sure? This guy, yeah. 
walks into there. And this fella is on me. And then I need to be able to just flatten the rope. Yeah, so <laughs> the problem that I had last time was the rope that I had was uh, this rope for this knot was no good. Uh, it was actually just this rope, but it just sort of wouldn't get tight and, and do what I needed to do. So I've got this other rope, which is probably a couple of mil too small. Um, but the knot, the idea is that I pull here and when I put resistance, I don't slide down completely. And then I can easily tend the rope. Yeah, so um, let's just, yeah, see if I can get off the ground a little bit, if this will hold me. If not, oh, I'm off to the Philippines next week. Hopefully I can find some, some good rope there. I'm tangled myself. <laughs> I feel tension, so <laughs> definitely better than, than last time where I couldn't even get any kind of tension in the rope. Just, now I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what to do. Do I? Okay, it's definitely holding. So that's, that's good. Okay, I, <laughs> I need to learn more about ropes and particularly knots. Like it's working. Because that's there. There we go. Woo! I'm flying. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Very uncoordinated. Uh, yeah, hands free. So <laughs> it's it's holding. And then if I, oop, yeah. So <laughs> that's how that, that, that's how that's meant to work. Um, I just don't know how to go more. <laughs> yeah. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Just swing. <laughs> <Whee! laughs> oh, good fun. I want to just be way higher. Because <laughs> I could touch the ground. Oh, I mean, we're <laughs> carrying around all this rope. Oh, what a goof. <laughs> There's a, there's a trick. A guy called it a hip thrust or something like that. Because this is like this is the the most basic way of climbing a tree. Oh, I mean, there, there could be a lot more mechanical stuff going on here, but I'm poor, so all I had was this. <laughs> but there is definitely a way I can get myself off the ground, but it doesn't matter because like that one, I was just floating a little bit in the air, so that was kind of the whole point. I really wanted to do to do that. Now I just need to practice. Um, probably better off camera to not embarrass myself at least to sort of like try and understand what i need to do with my hands um yeah i'm gonna see if i can just free climb up here a little bit also this place behind me what a shame i just don't have a set of keys to it huh to make things easier <laughs> anyway i'll see you up there let's see if i can get up there <laughs> well <laughs> god damn Oh my goodness, I'm standing here. It's so close, but the problem is getting down these things. I've had too much experience climbing things that I can't easily get out of. And I'm by myself. <laughs> I don't want to get... Uh, I mean, it's not the worst place to be stuck, but ideally not get stuck in a tree. Uh, I just need some support. <laughs> Like something and also maybe some mental support. <laughs> you can do it. You got this, bro. Just, oh, okay. Not that much to grab onto. Like, you know, I mean, maybe if I was a rock climber, I'd understand what to do with my hands, but I know nothing. I know nothing. Ugh. <laughs> I feel hopeless. <laughs> Come on. 
I'm like a beached whale. Oh, I'm glad I'm not self-filming right now. That's awkward. Oh, that would be embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it bad? <laughs> Is it bad that I, I literally just climbed up here? And I'm so sweaty. Just wanted to go out on that on this limb here. Um, I actually have my my lanyard on. The idea is that I can kind of like wrap it around it, and if I do happen to fall, it'll catch me. Or do I want to go up there, outwards or upwards? I think that's where I was aiming for. Let's go up there. Well, that didn't last long. Well, literally, there's just like no grip on here. Even with these excellent shoes that, again, if you haven't watched it on my last video, <laughs> my last videos, uh, I did a video testing shoes. Um, yeah, so it turns out climbing trees is like pff, a little bit hard. <laughs> but that's good, right? It means that uh, it'll be worth it or I have a lot to learn. I'm sure there's positives <laughs> about it being difficult, but for sure I need to work out the, the climbing system because if I'm going to actually get high up in a tree, uh, yeah, this is going to test my knees. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, go. Oh, walking away like a champ. <laughs> Ouch. After allowing my old man knees a little bit of time to recover, from the, the tree that I was in, I'd actually seen down on the coast these two rooftops. And, and from the map, it looked like these places could possibly be occupied. I mean, there you can see the road is pretty clear, but it was not the case. No one had visited this place in years, I'm sure of it. The, this does not do it justice. It took me 20 minutes to get through this road. And they were so hard to find because it was so completely overgrown. Just incredible and I, that's what I really love about some abandoned places, my curiosity. I couldn't control myself, I needed to get in there and see nature taking back these places. Damn. What a failed project. Oh my goodness. There's another one of these but I couldn't even see where it was. So overgrown. Like this was prime, like the spot. You can't see, but we're right on the cliff's edge here. I don't think anyone's been here in quite a while. That's for sure, it's so hard to get in here. So many, it would be so hard to see, there's so many dragonflies flying around, it's beautiful. <laughs> This would have been cool pool right in the entrance of the pool here, huh? Now look at that tree, just like, just like, well, if you're not gonna, gonna use this space, I'll take it back. Thank you very much. Well, here's the other one. Way more overgrown. <laughs> Couldn't even see where it was. Yeah, it's a little raised elevated bit, but So much tree coverage in front of it. Ow. So much prickles. Woo. Damn, that would have been a good swimming pool. Would have. Never was. Yeah, clear this out of the way, and that is ocean. Right there. I'm sure it event I'm sure it originally was cleared out of the way. An interesting courtyard. <laughs> well, quite an interesting spot to, to, to end a video based around tree climbing. Speaking of trees climbing, look at these ones. <laughs> so cool. Everything just taking over. Ah, but I'm getting all scratched up and cut from all of the blackberries and stuff, so it's a good, it's a good time to end it. But ah, I mean, I have to call it successful, right? I like floated. I flew so gracefully off the ground. <laughs> uh, it's a good start, right? <laughs> Only took me, how long have I been doing this? A couple of months. <laughs> it took me a couple of months of, of planning and preparation to, to get about six inches off the ground. <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh, but it's fun and it makes me happy and laugh, so that's a good thing, right? Anyway, that'll, that'll do. Um, check out my other channels, Kit Climbs More, got an ASMR channel as well, and uh, yeah, I'm always going to be spruiking the same message, restoration. So if you're not involved in restoration projects, please check out One World, my, my reforestation business. Uh, but also just find something that's suitable for you whether it's something you're actively involved in on the ground or another online business the most important thing is that you are participating funding restoration projects to to counteract your your negative effects on the environment because regardless of what you do unless you're practicing restoration projects you're going to have a negative impact it's as simple as that so end of the day Oh, it's been a good one. The rains are, the rains are coming. <laughs> Stay away, you bastard. There's a tree. There's a monkey. There's a... <sighs> so much wildlife out here. All right, people, stay safe. Happy climbing. Bye-bye. <sighs>